In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing the Shortel call handling modes. As mentioned in our first tutorial, these modes consist of standard, in a meeting, out of office, extended absence, and custom. In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing how to switch between each mode and how to define what each mode will do. Let's first discuss how to change the call handling mode from the phone. If you look at the phone, you will see that the phone is in standard mode. If you notice, there is a mode key, and if we press that key, it will display our five call handling modes. To switch modes, we're just going to use the scroll key here, and then when we're ready to select a mode, we're going to hit the OK key. If we look at the communicator, we can see that we are now in out of office mode. We will go ahead and switch it back to standard mode to allow us to take calls. One important thing to remember is that each mode has its own voicemail greeting that can be recorded. Let's see how to set up the modes now. To do that, you're going to click on configure call handling as seen here. Clicking this brings us into the options menu but directly into the call handling subsection starting with the standard mode. Within this mode, we are presented with a few options. The first one of the more important options, and that is to record our greeting. When we click this option, another window is opened, giving us the ability to now click the record button shown here. When we press this button, the system will call our phone to initiate the recording. When you're finished recording, you'll press the stop button to complete your recording. You can now play the recording back to ensure that you are satisfied with what was recorded. When you are finished, press the OK button and the recording has now been saved. Our next option to configure is the forwarding destination. By default, the standard mode is set to the when no answer or busy option meaning if we do not answer the phone or are currently using up all of the lines on our phone, then it will go to voicemail after three rings by default. If you want to change the amount of rings before going to voicemail, you will click Edit Destination and then you will see another window pop up and just change the amount of rings. The other four modes will all route directly to voicemail by default and play the corresponding greeting set for that particular mode. The third option is whether we want to enable Find Me or not. What is Find Me? Find Me is the ability to forward calls externally to a number of your choosing, such as a cell phone. The nice thing about this feature is that upon answering the call, the Shortel will give you the option to press 1 to take the call or 2 to send the call to voicemail. If you choose to send the call to voicemail, the caller is routed back to your Shortel voicemail and not to the voicemail of your cell phone. To configure this, you just need to select the Find Me option shown here. Once in the Find Me screen, you can see you're given the ability to enter in up to two numbers and how many times you want each number to ring. When we configure this, we're allowing callers the option to hit one from our voicemail to try to get us on our cell phone or other numbers. There are a couple of other options, however. The first option here is to send the incoming caller ID. This feature tells the Shortel to send the caller's number when forwarding out to you rather than showing the office number. This feature can be really nice as it will show you who is really attempting to call you. However, with the influx of IP flex circuits, your service provider may not allow your Shortel system to utilize this feature. Please contact Sonoran Integrations or your service provider for more information. If you are not able to use this feature, the Shortel system will still read you the caller's number upon answering the call. Our next option here is to enable Find Me for incoming calls before playing the greeting. This option will negate the necessity of pressing 1 for the Find Me feature. Instead, callers will be automatically pushed out to your Find Me destination before the greeting is even played. Finally, our last option is to make the caller record their name if using the Find Me feature. 
Sometimes callers will have their caller ID blocked. This feature will force them to record their name before they are transferred to and thus allowing you to decide if you want to take the call or not. By default, this feature is only applied if the caller ID is blocked. If you want the caller to record at all times, then you will want to click the last option to record name even if caller ID is present. The Find Me feature works the same for all call handling modes. The difference is that you have the ability to enable or disable the Find Me feature based on the mode. Going back to our standard mode, you can see that ability here. The next option is to select where a person will be transferred to if they select zero from your voicemail. This feature can be really nice if you have an assistant or someone covering your calls. Then you can put their extension in here and anytime a person presses zero, they will go to that person instead of the main operator. At the bottom of the window, you will see a call handling note field. This is especially nice if the operator is viewing a large amount of extensions. You are able to let her know why you are not there and when you will be returning. If you are in a meeting, for example, we can put what time we would be out or if on vacation, we will be able to let them know the dates that we will be gone. Finally, you can see we skipped over the voicemail escalation profile. We'll be covering this in Lesson 7, which covers the options of the Shortel Communicator. This concludes this lesson. For more information, please view our other video tutorials or view the user guides at www.sonoranintegrations.com slash docs.html.